Fergus, the railway traction engine, is known to be the pride of the cement works. He is very proud of his work and always obeys the rules. One day, Thomas arrived at the cement works. He was sent to help Fergus with an important delivery for the next few days. I'm glad you're here, said Fergus. Lots of cement is needed at the wharf. Make sure you do everything right. I know, chuckled Thomas. I've helped you here a few times. I'm just reminding you, said Fergus. And with that, the two engines set to work. Thomas hadn't worked at the cement works for a while. It took him a few chances until he knew what he was doing. But whenever he did something wrong, Fergus would step in and correct him. Go smoothly with the load, the cement will fall. Arrange those trucks in a siding, not out on the line. Don't go rushing into the cement works like that. Do it right! Thomas was starting to become fed up with Fergus. He was glad when the day was over and it was time to go home. How was your day at the cement works, Thomas? asked Percy. Frustrating, said Thomas. Fergus always goes in with his do-it-right nonsense. I understand why he does it to Diesel, Bill, and Ben, but he's not this bossy when I'm around him. Rules are rules, said Donald. If you mess around with Fergus, serious problems could happen. Rubbish, Thomas huffed. I'll prove to him that I know my way around. You'll have to wait and see. The next morning, Thomas was having his freight cars loaded with cement when Fergus puffed up. Be cautious when you arrive at the wharf. Do it right, I know. You don't have to poke in your funnel every time. Before Fergus could answer, Thomas puffed away. Then there was trouble. As Thomas raced across the line towards the wharf, his driver couldn't apply his brakes. The fireman tried it, but it was no use. The driver reduced steam, but Thomas was still going too fast, and he sped through the wharf. Cinders and ashes! Fergus reluctantly came to the rescue, and he took the unhurt cars which were loaded with cement to the wharf, while Thomas was taken to the engine works yard. As Thomas was being repaired, Fergus arrived to see him. I told you to be careful, he said sternly. I had nothing to do with it, said Thomas. My brakes had failed and I lost control. Well, I guess another reason why this happened is because I was crossed with your advice. You were being too strict and a little bossy. I'm really sorry that I was feeling that way. I just want what's best for you fellow engines, replied Fergus, but I'm sorry you took it personally. I think from now on, whenever I give advice, I'll do it more nicely. Thomas knew he had to smile. Thomas was glad that he and Fergus were friends again, and whenever Fergus would give advice to other engines, he would do it more nicely. But for any troublesome engines like Diesel, Fergus would say, Do it right! Rudely, Diesel finds this mostly annoying, 
But for Thomas, he thinks it's completely justified. 